Alrighty then. Everything should be recording properly. Audio should be good. Mic should be unmuted. Everything should be ready to go, so... Hello everyone. Welcome back to Undertale Yellow. Uh, I just woke up about an hour ago, so I'm a bit tired at the moment, so... My voice and my demeanor is going to be a bit tired, so forgive me for that, but um, I want to try to get through this as fast as I possibly can, um, because I want to I wanna be done with this game. Last time I got really frustrated, so hopefully I don't get frustrated. Um, I have to get this done in two episodes or less, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in one episode, so last two episodes might be a bit longer than usual, so bear with me and we'll go from there. So I'm not good with intro, so let's just jump right into it. Elevator. We actually made it. Let's hope this elevator works. Surprisingly, it works. Next stop, the lab. I did some research. And what are you planning to do at the lab? Solo, what are you doing here? I did some research and I got spoiled on what happens. The gang and I were planning a return party for you. Thought it was a great idea, especially for Kaneko. That's very kind of you. Yeah, well we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. Ed, what did you find while cleaning? Uh, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. An almost invisible trap door and entrance. Soroba, what's actually going on here? What really happened to Kaneko? I don't know. Why? This can't... Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up. Why did you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. And she runs away. I... I have to go. Clover, come on. Clover, come on. Elevator closes. Suoba! Ed, take Clover back to home. And keep watch. I'll chase after her. Right. Squeak. Oh, okay, no squeak. Okay. Never traveling via laundry chute again. Ed, you're back. In Clover 2? I was worried sick about you. Where's Star? Suoba ran away, so he chased after her. Alone? Why did you let him do that? Star knows Suoba more than anyone, Moray. Well, I'm not so sure of that anymore. Clover! Moray messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Why'd you get feathers involved, Moray? I just thought she deserved to know. She she can get help. She she can help. She can get help too. She needs therapy. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Suoba's old house. What was it? We didn't have the time to look over everything closely, but it raised some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belongings to Shujin. All way too scientific for me. Clover and I can scope it out. No way, I was told to keep Clover here. There's a potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. That's fair. Fine, just stay on track. I can't have them running away or, any, or nothing. 
You know the way? I believe so. Okay, we'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then, come on, Clover. I don't know where we're going. Hey, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let you overtake you. I just... I really thought I could trust her. We all did. And what I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what? Doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concerns regarding Chujin, he said. Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. I'll let you leave. Just head to Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. An old abandoned wagon. Oh, you're still here. We need to stay focused. Let's not bother others with our problems. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so where am I actually going? Sorry, I'm not home. Oh, I'm sorry. No, but like really, where am I going? Isn't, isn't this Oasis Valley? Oh, it's probably up here. I didn't go up here before. Wow, I wish Susan invited me over back in the day. This house is incredible. Uh, yeah, let's get inside and see what the fuss is about. Well, first I wanna look around, if I can. I think there's like a thing around here. Oh, okay, maybe I have to do it afterwards. There's a thing around here somewhere. I should have asked where the papers and tapes are located, huh? Hmm, I guess we can take a look around. Should be an office somewhere. Okay. The door is locked from the other side. Locked, huh? Strange. Guess Ed and Star took another route. Ah. Okay, that door is locked. You open the drawer. Nothing but old pens and pencils. Gizmos and gadgets fill the desk space. Looming over it all, a map. On the map are several pin locations of... This isn't what Ed was talking about, right? I mean, this is clearly Chujin's office, but... I wouldn't say it's strange to keep track of where humans... Sorry, I'm sure this is upsetting to look at. Still, many monsters do keep up with it. Those events are a big deal down here. Okay. A few unfinished robots poke out from the box. Huh. I heard about Shujin's interest in robotics once. Guess this is as far as he ever got? I don't know, you tell me. The cabinet contains thesis papers on many different subjects. Whoa, these are all typed on cardstock. How wealthy was Shujin? I don't know. Expertly organized files labeled with numerous monster names. Did he keep records of everyone he befriended? Sandra, Lewis, Dr. Fish, Rosa, Martlet. Wait, Martlet? He found another monster with my name? No, it's you. I can't believe that never came up. A drawer full of videotapes. A label on the front reads, Home Movies. Well, I'm sure these are adorable. We don't have time to watch them. Gotta keep looking for whatever spooked Ed and Star. Dozens of books line the shelves. History, Engineering, Chemistry. All too advanced for you. Okay. You search the drawers. Just some knickknacks of various shapes and sizes. 
Several building bricks are scattered around a stuffed animal. Almost looks like it's watching me. Not sure I like this room. You open a dresser drawer and see many neatly folded shirts. I don't think we need to look in there. Books of a novice reading level lie in the basket. They carry similarities to books you've recently read. Aw, oh, I remember reading those as a birdling. Not to brag, but I finished them all in one day. I may have exceeded my classmates by several grades. Hmm. The sturdy bed sits bathing in the warm glow of the dunes. What a masterwork, hand carved and everything. It's hard to believe Shujin had the time to craft all of this. An old TV and game console gather gathering dust. The game case has a handmade cover slip. Surface Tycoon, it says. Shujin programmed a video game for Kanako? Wow, must have been awesome to have him as a dad. Mm. Oh, that's where I came in from, okay. Well, that's it for this side, it seems. Is there anything with the cactuses? Probably not. I'm just gonna double check. Freshly trimmed bamboo plants. Oh, they're bamboo plants. My bad. The bed is tidily made. Doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Aww. That's adorable. I can't stand looking at that. It's... Let's just move on. That's adorable. You search the nightstand. You find a folded up PSA which you stash in your mailbag. Let's read it. Dear citizens of the underground, we are calling for fallen down monsters to be sent to Hotland for important scientific research. Should you choose to participate, your loved ones will be treated with utmost respect their condition heavily monitored, and you regularly notified of their status. This is a chance for tragedy to be turned into opportunity for monster kind to finally see the light of the surface thanks to its citizens' invaluable bravery and sacrifice. For your consideration, Royal Science Division. Hmm. Suroba's many outfits hang in the closet. You can see someone else's clothes hidden behind the front row. Suroba knows what she likes, huh? Usually I'd be envious of such intense resolve, but I'm not so sure it's a good trade anymore. Hmm. You open the drawer. It's empty. Oh, okay. Okay, there's some pictures on the wall, but I can't look at them. You stare at your reflection in the sink water. The many trials you've endured have taken their toll on your appearance. You reach for the knife on the counter. Nuh-uh! Kids shouldn't mess with knives. Kids shouldn't mess with guns, either. I think I might be guilty of child endangerment. It's true. You open the refrigerator and find some leftover corn chowder. Take it? Yes. You that hungry? Um, alright then. I suppose you won't miss it, right? Well, it's like, I don't have any healing items. A reminder of your duties back home. Part of you wonders how everyone is doing, but the other part has moved on. An old-fashioned gas oven, best kept turned off. Wouldn't want a house fire. Okay, so... Oh, here. I almost didn't see the staircase here. The Founder's Crest. Decisive, devoted, determined. The fireplace is making the already warm house warmer. Pretty counterproductive in a climate like this. Still, it looks beautiful. I'm assuming this leads me back out? No. Okay. The Founder's Crest. Okay, same thing. Oh, I'm back here. So, where do I go then? I don't know. Because my goal was to find an office, but the office didn't have anything in here. Wait, 
Wait, what did that say? Dozens of books line the shelves. A thick, degraded book sticks out from the others. Home. Blueprints and annotations. Katsukani. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking for. Because I don't think it would be here. That looks like uh, the bedroom for a kid. There's gotta be a way into one of these rooms. I don't know where to go. I feel like that's where I need to go, but I can't get in there. Old-fashioned gas oven, best kept turned off. Wouldn't want a house fire. Okay, same thing. I don't know where this wants me to go then. Because I thought it would have wanted me to go this way, but... There's no place to go, so... I don't know where it wants me to go here. I'm confused. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Give me a second. No. Um. I'm honestly unsure where I need to go here because Martlet said to find an office but I went into the office and there was nothing there and this is like a secret switch or something that is around here that I just missed No, I'm confused because I don't think I can just leave. I don't think I can leave. We need to find the things I'd mentioned before we go. Yeah, that's what I figured. I thought maybe it had something to do with the bamboo plants. Like maybe there was like a combination of some kind. Nothing but an empty eyeglass case that's in the drawer. I am confused on where I'm supposed to go here. No idea. I don't know if there's like a like an area or something that I'm missing. Like is there like a like a pathway or something that I'm missing? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I'm so stupid. I thought this was a table. I'm stupid. This must be where they ate their meals. 
I didn't I didn't think about it because it was a rug and a table. I'm stupid. What do you see? Hey, uh. I need your help. You think something's under there? Alrighty then. On three. One, two, three. Whoa. Good eye, Clover. This isn't good. Spooky. Well, uh, after you. Oh my. What? What is all of this? Formulas. Soul research. Hold on. Look over here. Tapes. Each one has a date on it. You know... Maybe this is all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, that's probably it. We'll just watch. We'll just watch these and clear the air. It's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Greetings. This is Shujin. I don't have much time these days for a written journal, so I opted for video. I have no idea who will view these, if anyone, but it, I see it best to document my work. This is all for now, signing off. This is Chujin. Today I traveled to Snowden with my daughter on casual business. While I was busy, Kanako wandered off to play with a resident. That's when it happened. A few panicked townsfolk ran up to me, saying that a human had entered the area. This human, they attacked the monster Kanako was with. She was so close, she could have been next. No one was there to protect her, not even me. I don't understand, I just don't understand. Humankind already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. As of today, I'm looking into stopping this perpetual injustice once and for all. This is Chujin with unfortunate news. I was fired from my engineering position. I poured my all into my project, but it wasn't enough. The programming was buggy, but I know I could have ironed, ironed it out with a few more iterations. Why am I punished for trying to take our struggle seriously? I feel as if I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten or chosen to live in ignorance. I told Suropa I was retiring. Can't let her think less of me. But enough of that. It's in the past. I must live in the present and plan for the future. Prove I can save monster kind another way. This is Shujin. After years of research, I've made a breakthrough. Boss monsters, they may be the key to monster kind's survival. I was able to reach this conclusion because I... I carry the boss monster gene. This means my soul is much stronger than that of other monsters. More importantly, boss monsters are immortal until they produce offspring. Right now, monster kind is few in numbers compared to humanity, but... What if anyone could become a boss monster like me, like Kanako? As a nation, an army, we could finally possess enough power to take the surface back. My theory for this involves the fusion of a human soul and a boss monster soul. From that, a serum would be extracted which could transform any average monster. Unfortunately, I have not garnered enough proof that said serum is possible. I must conduct more tests. This, this is Shujin. I was worried this might happen. Science is a dangerous game. Rather foolishly, I, I experimented on myself several times. Over and over, the subject rejected the fusion, and I think I know why. I'll be direct. My soul has deteriorated. 
and I don't know how much longer I have. However, I believe my theory holds stronger than it ever did. This is a message to my dear Soroba. This research is up to you. No one would, no one else would listen. After I'm gone, look for the next human who falls down here. Someone pure of heart, uncorrupted. I need you to obtain their soul, but not just anywhere. You must have a boss master soul nearby to fuse with. You'll need... Damn it all. Search for a willing boss monster in the underground. Someone else, please. A little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. It's so fascinating. Oh, oh my gosh. I never knew. He never mentioned. Clover, we have to go right now. Come on. So you figured it out? Yes. Sorova was trying to carry out a plan Shujin left for her. Something involving Clover's soul and a boss monster soul. Which happens to reside in Kanako. What the? So she lied to us? About the mission to retrieve Kanako? She wasn't lying about finding Kanako. That's the alarming part. So Kanako is alive and well? Thank goodness. Alive? Am I missing something? It's a long story. She fell down some time ago. Zuroba sent her to the lab in hopes of in hopes to remedy the situation. I had no idea. Okay, where was the last place you saw Soroba go, Ed? You ain't taking Clover straight to her, are you? That's exactly what she wants, right? Yeah, Clover needs to stay safe with us. She can't accomplish her goal if Clover is nowhere to be found. We aren't going to let her accomplish her goal. And anyway, the Wild East is a tourist destination, a public place. My colleagues probably know a human is in the underground by now. If Clover stayed here, they would eventually tear the town up. Better to be on the move, yeah? I... Look, I need to fly ahead to scout out the situation. So again, where did the two go? I don't think... Clover, you were there. Where did they go? The lab, most likely. That lines up. Hot land it is. Hey, I gave Star my word. Let them do it, Ed. Clover is the only one who can put this to rest. Alright, they took the westmost elevator in the steamworks. You can use a laundry chute to get there quicker. That elevator's destination sits near the core. Ask around if someone spotted which direction they went from there. Wait, we need to go too, right? We need all the help you can get. Appreciate the offer, but please don't. This might get dangerous. Stay here and keep the townsfolk happy like you always have. Okay, but please be safe. I'll try. Thanks for all of your help. Even if you locked me in a jail cell for hours on end. Hey, what are friends for? I can think of a few things. I mean, yeah, no problem. Clover, meet me on the rooftop of Underground Apartments ASAP. We'll figure this out, I promise. I, uh, wish you luck with this, seriously. Yeah, I bet we'll all be catching bandits again shortly. I'll be sure to save you a spot at our next nap time. Don't, don't, just don't do anything stupid. See you later, deputy. Okay, I want to go over to the left real quick, if I can. Howdy! Long time no see, buddy. I've been wanting to tell you something. It's been weighing on my mind, so I truly mean it when I say, Told you so. Haha, <laughs> sorry, couldn't pass that up. Now I know this is the part I tell you to ignore Soroba, but... I have a strong feeling that wouldn't sway you at this point. Honestly, I'm starting to want to see this play out. After all, that fox wants to, s wants to waste your soul on a science fair project. No good. I'm in your corner like I've always been, so don't worry. We'll get rid of her and continue down our path. Easy peasy. 
It's all, it'll all work out in the end, pal. I want to go up here. It's going to get dark. Shujin Katsukanani. The best of us. You notice a subtle indentation in the dirt behind the gravestone. Is back further? Yes. You dig into the ground with your hands until you hit something solid. It's a videotape with a blank label. Take it? Yes. You got a videotape. Let's go see if I can watch it. Unless it won't let me back in. I think that's the only thing that's here. Quite the turn of events, huh? Well, good thing I'm on the winning side, haha. <laughs> I bet you'll handle Suoba like it's nothing. Okay, I gotta go around. You load the mysterious tape into the slot underneath the screen. I wonder what this is gonna be. Mr. Shujin, I messed up, miscalculated something. Axis, Axis is dangerous. I must have overshot the variables. All I wanted was apprehension. The human who almost hurt my child, I told Axis to track them down. I know I should have stayed to comfort Kanako and tend to the resident who was hurt, but I had a tool that could stop the human's crusade, so I tried. In a flash, Axis left me bolted for waterfall. By the time I tracked him down, it was too late. I'll never forget the scene laid before me. Part of me wanted to quit everything that instant, but this outcome was earned, was it not? Access soon contained the subject and hid the evidence. There was some property damage, but I'm sure it won't come back to me, I hope. In any case, I now have a human soul in my possession. I do not know exactly what I should do with it, but the power that rests within it is... Well, let's just say I'm not donati donating it to Asgore like all the others. Not yet. As for Axis, today's actions were excessive, but the potential is astounding. With more work, Axis can be the future, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I need to sleep. Though something tells me that will be difficult to do for a while. Fascinating. An old dusty monitor with nothing but static hissing at you. This only brings you unease. Forgotten fragments of various robots. All of their soulless eyes stare through you. A drawer full of videotapes. A label on the front reads Legacy. A prototype of a familiar face rests on the shelf. Cobweb written box of scraps. Okay, I think that's it. So let's head back to the town. about to say is there gonna be any more music playing yeah I don't care about you okay did anything change here yes oh hello please don't mind me I was only tending to this little fella you want to talk more uh how about that weather sure is hot today like always do you like, um, air? I do. I breathe it all the time. Um, uh, I'm very sorry. I'm just not into in a talking mood right now. Maybe later. Okay.
red is gone. I don't know where they went. Gotta beat this heat. I'm losing it. I don't know if this cactus ever moves. Best be headed to Hotland. Who knows how long you got? I'm entirely sure of myself. I have 117 gold. I need to buy some items. Howdy, deputy. You are the deputy, right? I heard the squad got real peeved off after learning that. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, I believe in you. Root beer. Was that a mistake? Probably. Okay, I don't really care about talking to these people. You know that elevator at the end of the Steamworks? I believe it's your ticket. Let's deal with that backstabber already. Wait, so where is this laundry chute? I don't know. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Right? Everyone is wrapped up in conversation. Quite the popular spot. Oh, I didn't even realize there was people there. What a lonely box. So, where is the laundry chute? I don't know. Yo, exciting news! I just built myself a new computer, and guess what? You can play games on it! Sorry, North Star, but I'm never leaving my room again. There's these videos on Undernet of monsters playing Love Blaster. I'll tell you what, they're playing it all wrong. You're supposed to grab the power-ups, not avoid them. Also, Mew Mew doesn't shoot bullets, she spreads joy. It's so obvious they haven't studied the deep lore like I have. You should come over sometime. We can play a co-op game. Go away! Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, you're new. I was locked up for using my cell phone in the saloon. Tina said it was against Wildy's policy. Fair enough, but North Star has a freaking TV in his house. Oh, the gun? They let me keep it. It's only a motto after all. How often do you think they clean these cells? This one has a few too many feathers lying around for my liking. And the wall? There's a patch of moss with a bite out of it. Weird. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna sell my bank account for bail. Wish me luck. Did I talk to the cactus? Oh ho, why if it isn't the deputy? Will you sign my needle? Please do. Sure. How exciting. Here's a pen. Make a few scribbles on one of the fellow's needles. Oh boy. Hope you don't mind if I sell that needle online. Ta-ta. Good luck with the new job, uh-huh. Yay! Okay. I guess I do go to the Steamworks. Flowey did say something different. Instead of saying something like, Oh, it's back the other way, pal. Okay, the bunker is still closed. Do I have any mail? I haven't checked in a while. Receive some mail. Who sent me mail though? Starlow, urgent. Hey Clover, something's up. I made up with the 
posse as planned. All was going well, but then I began worrying about you and Suroba. That's when I got the idea to break into Suroba's old house and spruce it up to celebrate her and Kanako's eventual return. Well, when Ed was sweeping around, he found some kind of secret room. Seems like it belonged to Shujin. We didn't have time to dig into its content, but all I know it is all I know is it worried us both. You may be in danger. Then again, maybe not. Just come back to the Wild East for now. I can only hope this letter reaches you in time, Starlo. It did not. Okay, where is this laundry chute? Because I don't want to have to walk all the way back through the steamworks. It's got to be around here somewhere. Um... I don't know where this laundry chute is. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, it's here. Climb to the top. I forgot this was here. Thank God I don't have to go all the way back through the steamworks. That would suck. Oh, I'm back here. Interesting. It's very dark in here. And now it's bright in here. Ah, core playing. Cool, thank you so much, stream, for pausing. Oh, White Floor 3, huh? That means we're close to the hotel. Club Danza. Well, I came to the club to let loose a boogie, not in wait, not wait in line. It's crab hour, is what they keep telling me. It's crab hour. Who says I'm not a crab? Like, they sure are putting me in a crabby mood. That, and I haven't trimmed my fingernails in months. I could pinch some, someone so hard with these puppies. The moment crab hour ends, it's the moment I seize the floor and get down. You can quote me on that, bro. I'm not sure I meet the requirements to set foot in the club. My age isn't the problem, it's, the, it's that I never got my dancer's license. I'm tired of putting in effort for entertainment. When will someone come along that spoon feeds fun to me? That would be the day. Guess it won't hurt to wait in line a little longer. Do you have anything else to say? No. Pete's Flames, man. Come on, I gotta be on the guest list. Everyone knows my name. Any time now, the bouncer's memory of me will come rushing back. Surprise it's taking this long. If all else fails, I'll just dance out here. No one can stop me. Boy, if you want in the club, you're gonna have to wait in line. That is, unless you're on the VIP guest list. I doubt it, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Would you look at that? I got a lad here that looks just like you. Go on then. Hey, it's El Bailando. Ah, it is you! Welcome to my club! I am glad I remembered to put you on the guest list! Now, join us in a dance, will you? Alright, I forgot, you are not big on dancing. 
more of a sentinel of silence, right? Funny history I have with those folks. We all used to live on the top floor of underground apartments north of here. My side of the hall wanted to be bold with high energy, while the other preferred the deafening sound of silence. We feuded over the SVL for weeks, the standard volume level that is. Long story short, we all were kicked out, haha. <laughs> Gone our separate ways now, free to chase any comfort we choose. I sometimes wonder what that bat got up to. Probably lives in some Snowden cave. If I were you, I would let loose and dance with us. One never knows when they dance their last. Okay, how do I do that, though? Hehe, <laughs> move so hot, my worries are melting away. Hehe, <laughs> get him down, get him down. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't know standing still would do that. Hee <laughs> hee. Smooth with it. Hee <laughs> hee. I freaking suck at dancing. Hey. You caught me chilling by my brand new house. That's right. Just bought this sucker. I've been down in the dumps lately, so I thought it was time to move on something nice for myself, you know? I highly recommend doing something nice for yourself every now and then. It's therapeutic. Can't let anyone inside yet. Got a crew doing renovations. They're installing the latest music production equipment. Fancy stuff. Let's just say you're gonna start hearing my hot beats everywhere. Whenever you struggle, just hold tight. Life gets better. A mighty roadblock stands in the way. Oh. Any more mail? I do have mail. Mail? Oh, I don't. Oh, it's from Axis, that's why. I wonder what I wonder what it says. I'm actually gonna see if anyone has ever decoded this. Someone decoded it. Um, decodes to, I do not know how to send letters, help me. That's awesome. That's awesome. Just a regular wall, right? Caddy and Braddy up here? No. No response. The swimming pool of champions. There's a note on the door. Stranger, please stop eating the cat food I leave out. It's for a stray who's stuck in here with us, not for monsters. Thank you. You discover some monster canning in the trash can. It's butterscotch flavor. Take it? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet because I think I saw a video where it said that's where it wants me to go. So let's go in here first. Oh, howdy. We're nearing the castle now. What an eventful day. For kicks and giggles, why don't we tally up your death total? Drum roll, please. ba ba da ba You died 18 times. That's rough. Wow. If I wasn't here to help, this all would have been a disaster. Maybe jumping down a chasm gunk-ho wasn't the brightest idea. But hey, all's well that ends well. How rude. 18 times. Hey, is this guy. boom boom I apologize, but we're all out of reservations tonight. A large party of ghosts are here, and the kitchen doesn't know how to make ghost food. Please come back in a few days, please. Blub blub. Okay, same thing. What's up? You enjoying the tune we're currently banging out? Hope you are, because it's the only one we're playing tonight. No request this time, sorry kid. I don't know your... I, I couldn't figure out the, the song that the person wanted. Like their favorite song. I didn't figure that out. 
I'm starting to think my date stood me up. I've been waiting here for three hours. The date is tomorrow night, but would it hurt to show up a little early? The silverware is getting cold. Who am I kidding? My date is so cute, way out of my league. Why would anyone show up 20 hours early for someone like me? Huh. I'm just not cut out for love. Same, bro. Same. Your destination. You notice a ranking sheet on the board. Winners of the Actually Magma Smoothie Challenge. Pyro, fastest time. Groovy, calm and collected. Cinderhead, struggled but finished strong. Heat something, we forgot who this was. Starlo was only trying to impress someone. Fuku fire, most enthusiasm. No cone, transported to a hospital, we might be in legal trouble. A potted plant. Plan. A, pot, a planted pot. Okay. You notice a schedule of upcoming acts on the board. The name Metaton appears many, many times. Ah, rain. Beautiful droplets from the sky. What produces rain? Is it magic? I wonder. Grandma always said that rain is a manifestation of the underground's heartache. When monsters travel to waterfall to wish their worries away, those feelings are sucked up into the air and poured out across the land. From old sorrow comes new life in the soil below. If that's the case, some sad monster must have stood in this corner for a long time. As I mentioned, Waterfall is the best place to go to experience rain. Unfortunately, getting there from Hotland isn't easy right now. Have you noticed that? All of the, all of the roadblocks scattered about? It's like they don't want anyone venturing off a specific path or something. If you're carrying any rain, don't be shy about releasing it into the air. Holding on to sadness weighs you down. Okay. The ruler of the underground. You hear sounds coming from the plant. What sounds? What? got to be the best restaurant in the underground, seriously. You can't beat the food, the service, the atmosphere. Something has always puzzled me though. Where is the kitchen? I must confess, there is one thing about this place that gets me down. The music. Like, this band is fine. A little too new wave, for my taste. I miss the acts of my youth. There was this lounge singer they'd host. Beautiful. I mean, wowza, meow. Sorry. My food should be out any minute. Can't wait. I think that's it for this. A potted plant. A potted plant. Okay. Hello and welcome to Underground Apartments. The leading establishment where you stay is temporary and unaffordable. I'm the handlord of this complex. Please do not say you find it quite simple. You will be kicked out. How may I be of service? Castle. Of course. To each new home, you want to take that elevator on my left. Not left as in my appearance, left as in the direction. You get it. Ahem. Of course, with the core being under maintenance, it is the only way to reach the city. Heavy traffic, to, heavy traffic is, is, is expected. I can't speak. Oh, I can't talk with you anymore. Oh, hold on a second. I think I recognize you. Yeah, it's the hat. A blue-feathered monster came in here and asked if I would tell you to go to the roof. She wanted to meet you on the roof, is what she said exactly. All I ask is please do not do anything illegal on the premises. If you don't mind, the complex is quite busy today. I need to attend to other guests. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Welcome to Bits and Bites. Buy something, will ya? Well, it's a good thing I, um... Sour an item to us? Buttons, what do you think? No deal! No can do! Not in a hundred years! Hmm, a hundred and one? By that time, you'll be dead and I'll be running the shop by myself! Hey, that's pretty dark, Buttons. We live in a freaking cave, it's always dark! Haha! <laughs> Apparently, I watched a 
like a YouTube short uh, yesterday after I ended the stream. Apparently, if you do a genocide route, when you get to this shop, it's dark. And if you fought Axis and you like you like destroyed him, there's a dark figure that's like in the background, like right here. And it's speculated that it's like Shujin or somebody. Somebody who fell down or like passed away. It's interesting. Uh, what's on your mind? Asgore. Mr. Fluffy Buns is the shining beacon of our nation. One of the main reasons we're so close to breaking the barrier and moving back up to the surface. Yeah, he's great at sticking it to the humans. Hey now, Asgore carries a huge weight on his shoulders, you know. Having to deal with all the unpleasantries that come with harvesting human souls isn't a fun job. Handles it like a champ, though. I wouldn't choose anyone else to lead us into a brighter future. Jeez, if you like him so much, why don't you marry the guy? Oh, you know I would if I could. Hot land. It's a stretch of land which happens to be hot. Done. Area explain. Ah, you're doing a disservice to the rich history Hotland has to offer. It's got rich history, alright? Cost a fortune to build a place. Heh. <laughs> but for good reason. There are many impressive landmarks here, like the lab, the spider house, underground apartments, elevators 1 through 7, conveyor belts, rocks. It's a stretch of land which happens to be hot. Yep. Hotland, new. The lab is located a good distance away from here on level 1. It's where the brilliant Dr. Elphus conducts important work for the king. I have a theory that some of the weird food in the underground stem from experiments gone awry in that building. Oh yeah? Like what? Ever heard of a thing called instant noodles? It's a freaking square that turns into edible worms when put in water. Science gone wrong. Poison has to be. I've heard it's delicious. Have you tried it? Of course I have! I ain't afraid of death! Haha, <laughs> sometimes I wish you were. Anyway, reaching the lab has been a pain lately. A lot of traffic. Almost like something's in the air, something new. You think? Not much has changed around here in ages. Trust me, I've lived through it all. You have? Buttons, how old are you? I've seen war bits. Huh. The sock. Whoa! Whoa, hey! Wind me up, bits! Wind me up right now! Excuse me, patron, but Buttons doesn't appreciate that word. It's not considered very nice where he comes from. Take your filthy mouth to the dump where it belongs, or I'll shut you up right here and now, you expressionless infant! Now, Buttons, we talked about this. Finish the phrase. We don't punch who has punched. I know, I know. We're working on Buttons' anchor, anchor management. It's a slow process, but I think he'll get it sooner or later. I don't see what's so wrong with unleashing rage upon my enemies, I honestly don't. It's simple, being kind to others leads to more profits in the shop. Maybe I could try a little harder, you're right. Um, toil? Oh, um, heh. <laughs> That's a rather sensitive subject, I don't really know- Toil divorced the king, hilarious. Buttons, the disrespect. If the man's not right, the man's not right. Oh, you're such a handful. Am I right? Get it? Stop speaking. Sorry. Toil? New. Honestly, I don't know much about the former queen. Her whereabouts, how she's doing, is all a mystery. Of course, it isn't any of my business anyway, so I haven't properly looked into it. I've seen your stash of gossip magazines. Don't lie to the customer. I, I mean, one gets curious, of course. That's all, really. Hey, I love reading them as much as you do. Stuff is spicy. Right? To be a flyer on the wall doing the... The, um... Yeah, I do wish Toriel the best. I'm sure she's made a fine life for herself. Thanks for your time. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. How rude. I miss burger pants. You know that UGPS station right outside? I hear it's going to be removed soon. All of them, in fact. You might think it's because letters are going out of style, but nah. The company is just switching up their business model. 
direct delivery to citizens' mailboxes from now on. Convenient, but kind of bittersweet. I enjoyed my daily walks to the old station. At least this means everyone keeps their jobs. That's good news. While the new mail system is nice, the king's kind of given up on improving society. I respect what's been accomplished, but most monsters act like we peaked. Not true. There's always more that can be done in my opinion. We could use better public transportation, for example, like a train. Or better yet, a subway train. Wait, wouldn't all trains be considered subway trains here? I wonder if I could get a job as a mail monster. Sure, I can't fly, but I placed fourth on my high school track team. I'm usually a chill dude, but today has not been my day. Let me tell you. First, the attendant needs my name so she can save me a room. Mr. Cursor, I reply. She steps back and goes, like some kind of warlock. I say, what? Warlock? With visible confusion. I like to roll that ten-sided die as much as the next guy, but no, I'm Mr. Cursor. Turns out, she thought I said Cursor. Like I was going to hex the joint. Really didn't need her input on my iconic name, but whatever. But then I walk over to the elevator to head back to new home. It's busy, so I wait, and I wait, and I wait. And literally, three hours pass. Next thing I know, the elevator opens, but oops. Mr. Cursor has a tendency to time out and fall asleep every five minutes. So I miss my one chance. And now I'm stuck here and don't know when I'll ever get to go home. What the heck was that? Sorry about that. I have to slow down and take a breather when things get heated. What was I talking about? Uh, my memory sucks. Yo, I monitored the situation further and it just clicked with me. What if I try to ram my way into the elevator by force? I just charge straight into the doors. Ah, uh, well, on second thought, if I tried that, I might slip a disc. You think this place has free Wi-Fi? I'm, uh, pretty bored. Okay. Core currently under maintenance. Please do not climb over the velvet rope. Okay. Let's head to the right. Yes, hello. Is that mail whale with my package? Skip the rhyming and leave it at the, leave it at the door, please. There. I'm in the middle of robbing this nice apartment. Come back when I've escaped. Hey, it's Squidward. I know, I know, I'm being evicted. Slide the notice under the door and I'll add it to the scrapbook. Caution slippery when wet. Caution slippery when dry. This section of tilting lacks friction, and we do not know how to fix it. You resist the odd temptation to taste the mop water. That's not what I meant to do, but okay then. Currently on break, admiring a hard day's work. Okay. Well, let's head back outside. What? Confused? Or do you think keeping a death tally is morbid? Knowing what could have been keeps you humble. Grateful for everyone who helped you get where you are. At least that's my philosophy. Who knows what might happen from this point forward? Continue? Yes. There's Martlet. I'm here! You're gonna die, probably. You made it! Great! What a view! That large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the underground. Behind that is New Home, the capital city. I asked around and was told Suoba and Starlo headed there. Guess she ran the opposite way of the lab to juke her pursuer? The two couldn't have gotten far or I'm positive we'll find them. We'll... Whew, it's all settling in now. This is like, super intimidating, right? Not just me? I don't know when I'll get another chance, so I'll say it now. You are a kind soul, one of the best I've met. Left and right, you've beat, 
You've been beaten and bruised, but you stay vigilant. You diffuse situations and mend relationships. A far cry from what I was taught growing up. Royal guards are told ad nauseum that humans are the enemy. I only ever heard of stories of war in our underground imprisonment. But you're different. If you could change my mind on humans, I know you can, Asgore's. After we defuse the Suroba situation, we'll march right up to that castle, you and me. And then, well, you'll be on your way. But don't worry about me. When Monster Kind is freed, we'll meet again on the surface. By then, you might be all grown up. Wouldn't that be funny? Heh. <laughs> Point is, I'm glad you hopped on my raft. Okay, we need to get moving. That way, West New Home. The elevator downstairs should take us straight there. After that, I'm not sure. I'd call for backup in a scenario like this, but we're on our own. Outlaws. So, partner in crime, you ready? Aww, oh, that's adorable. Let's stop Suroba. After you. Uh-oh. Now, Charles, I know you've had a long day, but if the dishes in the sink aren't done, we can't eat dinner. Don't even think about heating up a TV dinner instead. Those do not have the nutrition my hubby needs to get big and strong. Oh my, we've been quarreling so long, it's way past dinner time now. I suppose we'll have to invent a fourth meal of the day. Schminner. Oh, I love the sound of that already. Schminner time. I ought to go into entrepreneurship, don't you think, Charles? I'll invent many useful things, like a new attitude for you. Can a guy catch a break? They put me in dock review all afternoon. I can't barely, I can barely move my fingers, let alone lather them in weird, in your weird soap. What's up with that anyway? What's wrong with soap from the store? I can't even pronounce half the ingredients on that bottle by the sink. Uh, you can, you can lift this. Nope, I can't do it. I just can't. Are we even at the right station? Darn it all, I think we took the wrong elevator. See what happens when I'm stressed? I knew we should have moved to Hotland. Should have trusted my gut. This would have this wouldn't have happened with their respectable elevator system. Yeah, yeah, I know there's a map over there. But I'm too angry to improve our situation. Okay, is there anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. A map of your current location sits above the bench. The underground is so much larger than you imagined. Okay. Hmm. It is rather late, isn't it? There was down the locations they could have gone at least. Dig around the bin and find a bottle of sizzling soda. Take it. Do humans often eat from the garbage? Maybe. Shoot, I could have left a trash bag out and stoned it as a lure. I'm only joking, of course. I can't judge anyone's culinary preferences after today. Not enough space. God dang it. Okay, throw you in there. Adult soda. That's interesting. Oh no, I'm close. Come back bright and early for a scoop of ice cream. Aw, oh, man! I want an ice cream. New home. Reached the end of my journey, it seems. Okay, 
that's an elevator. I think this elevator goes to the castle. Probably the last place to open would run to. Let's keep searching this area for now. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that that's not where it wanted me to go. Probably wants me to go up here. Probably follow the blood stains. I see them! This way! Suoba looks distressed. I'm sure we can negotiate her down from this, but... Worst comes to worst, we might have to retreat. Tactically, of course. Let's listen in. Just leave me to my own devices, Star. Suoba, I don't know- I don't know what you're saying. Please calm down. I must go to the lab. It's where Kanako is being kept. I have to get there by any means necessary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't get in my way. Or what, you'll kill me? Oh. Hey! Clover and I, we watch the tapes. You need to let this go. If not... Why are you here, Clover? You're supposed to be back home. No, thank you for finding me. Makes things easier. If I were you two, I'd leave Clover here and forget about this. It might not make sense to you, but it's for the best. Cut the self-righteous act, will you? Just stop it. We can turn this around, Suoma. You said it yourself that Kanako is alive. Let's just find her and go back to our normal happy life. Happy life? That's which. I lied about Kanako, Star. I had to. What? Falling down is practically a death sentence. Unless a miracle takes place at the lab, there's no... There's no hope for her. You! I'm trying to make the best of what I can, okay? This is all I know to, to do at this point. Kanako. Kanako is a boss monster. She is the key to finishing Chujin's work. This is his legacy, his plan for the future. Monster Kind's only hope for survival. Don't you speak for him. You've seen the tapes, right? Do you honestly think this is what he wanted? Kanako wasn't supposed to be a factor in this. If he were here, the Chujin I knew would... The Chujin you knew... You knew nothing of him. No, Martlet's right. We might have had some differing views, but... Chujin was kind to everyone. And I know you are as well. It's just that right now, I... I don't understand you. When I fought Clover, I was reckless. But when you want their soul, it's for the best? Not only Clover's, but the soul of your own... Shut up. You think I don't know how far gone I am? And where this high horse coming from? Sounds to me like we're in this pit together. Zoroba, please. Just get out of here. Let me finish what I started. You can't have Clover. We are going to Asgore, and that's that. Don't, don't you dare. Marlin, gl grab Clover. I'll keep Zoroba at bay. You're not going to do a damn thing, probably. Go, now! Son of a... That's not good. Clover, I... Sorry for what I've done. I almost wish you never showed up in the Wild East. Maybe then I could have continued to bury my sorrows in the saloon. But now, I must follow through with my mission. I've somehow grown to respect the hell out of you, but... At the end of the day, you're naive. There is so much you don't understand about monsters. What? Did you think you'd jump down here and find them? Five humans living out their lives unharmed? That isn't how it works. I'm guessing you discovered that truth, right? Then what? Was your and Martlet's plan to storm Asgore's castle for, for revenge? Or was it simply to plead for a free ticket back to the surface? He only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. Wouldn't hesitate for a second to make that one. But who am I to criticize how he carries out business? Here I am about to do the very same thing. I am a hypocrite, a liar, sure. But at least I... With Shushin's guidance can save countless monster lives. These two couldn't understand that, and Asgore, Asgore is a coward. Didn't believe in my husband at all. 
He thinks problems will just disappear if he closes the curtains. I long for freedom as much as anyone, but he he doesn't consider what will happen once he gets souls. Everyone else too. They all believe victory will come easy, but the humans I've heard of, they are powerful, ruthless. As soon as we try to leave, they will stuff us right back into this hellhole. They want our misery to fester until we give up and die out. I am no better than Asgore on a scale of morality, I'm sure of it. But what, am, what I am is proactive. Monster kind is worth protecting, so I will see that it is done. This is going to be a really hard fight, probably. Truthfully, I have nothing left in life, so I've made peace with throwing it away. You'll fight back, but you can't forever. Goodbye. No turning back. Check him. Attack 13, defense 15. A legacy not to be forgotten. Ow. You take a breath. The word seems to slow, but only for a moment. Whoa. Whoa, that's not fair. Like, you get no wiggle room. That is rough. You gonna let this backstabber win? Not on my watch. A chilling breeze envelops the area. I'm trying to touch Sorova, but her attention is impenetrable. Do I have to like wiggle and get out of that? Or do I just have to take the hit? That is rough. This is gonna be a really hard fight. Come on, game. Nervously drink the coin chowder. Could have been worse. What sucks is, like, you go in a certain direction, and that's where the next attack comes from. That's stupid. She tries to ignore the condition of her friends. I gotta maneuver out of that. That is hard. We're so close to our goal. Don't mess it up.
This is hard. I can't avoid them. Like, there's too much stuff on the screen. What the heck is this? Time to taste your down for good. This is rough. I might have to look to see how long this fight is because if I don't understand how long this fight is gonna be, I might be in trouble. I can't. I I can't. Like with the Axis fight, at least the at least there wasn't that much on screen at one time. Okay. For the sake of knowing. Give me one second. Final boss. I'm not gonna say anything just yet because I want to try it myself, but... Apparently a lot of people are saying that the fight is way too hard. Unless they're talking about genocide, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't, I don't want this one. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Okay, give me one second. I want to look up something real quick. What the fuck? This is like a 30 plus minute fight? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. That's rough. Okay. okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back to Blackjack. If I can, please tell me I can go back and get like items. Because if I can't, that's so dumb. Oh. 
That is rough. That's so damn rough. What sucks is... The weapon that I have equipped is like supposed to heal me like 2 HP every single time, but it doesn't do that. Which means it probably only does it if you're attacking. New home is north of here. We need to head that way. Well, screw you, Martlet. God damn it. Because I don't have gold and I can't do anything. That's so stupid. I should be able to go back and get healing items. God damn it. I guess going to the roof was my first mistake. Well, I'm gonna... This is gonna take me forever. Unless I just get really good at the game. Which I'm not good at the game. As, as evident by Flowey telling me I've died like 20 times at this point. I really could use some ice cream. Now I have to skip all of this. Thank God I can like, like, go through this really quickly just by hitting shift. gonna be really hard. No turning back. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work. No, no I don't think it's working. It's like, somebody said there was a dash ability, but I'm not entirely sure if that's thing that actually works or not. I might not be able to get through this fight. Because I I was looking at it, and it, like apparently some people are like say that they never got through the fight, or it took them like a hundred attempts or something. Unless they're talking about genocide, but I don't think they are.
unable to beat her unfortunately I'm not going to be able to finish this game and that's so disappointing unless I attack her and I don't want to do that because I'm not good at video games I'm not I'm I admit that I'm not good at video games. I only play video games to help me, like, to help my confidence, really. That's literally the only thing. To allow me to be able to think that I'm skilled at something when I'm not. And that's such a damn shame. So I'm gonna give this five more attempts. And if I'm not able to, if I can't progress, any further than where I am, unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to make it. So. The scout. Look up at Suroba, enraged by what she's done. I always take a hit. should not be like a difficulty spike. This should not be Sans level of difficulty times a thousand. Because with Sans, with Sans, his attack pattern was consistent. It was always the same. It never it never faltered. Well usually it never faltered. There's that there is that like little random thing, but that's fine. I have like, I have no issue with that. But this one, this one is like there's just too much going on for its own good. I shouldn't have done that, I should have No. That's what that's attempt one. Okay, I'm not gonna count that attempt because that's dumb. That's a dumb attack to die on. Wait, I'm, okay, I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna give um, a specification. I'm gonna get up to the attack that I get back up to, and that's gonna count as an attempt because I can get to that point consistently. It's just really hard. Holy crap, 
crap, man. Thank you. Finally make progress. Why? Well, I didn't realize you were going to be doing that. Why won't you die? The world seems to slow, but only for a moment. Why? I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I have no idea what the heck just happened. What was happening there? Okay. I'm not gonna count an attempt as long as I make progress. So I'm still only on attempt one. Or attempt two, I should say. Like if I if my progress is hindered, that's when I will end it. Because I'm not gonna waste my time trying to do something if I'm not gonna be able to do it. into your soul with regret. Succeed, it's over. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna die. Cool, thank you. See, this is what I'm talking about. The the attacks go on for way too long. It's like, that attack is BS. It's like, it should have just been the swords. It should not have been anything else. Actually, you know what? You know what? No, I'm done. It's like, I don't want to end on a sour note on like a very low note but this is gonna piss me off it's like there should not be this much of a difficulty spike it's like if if like a like a major part of the player base says that the the final boss and the like the the bosses are way too difficult and that it takes way too long to beat that's a problem. And that's really unfortunate that that's a problem. Because with Undertale, it was at least fair. 
and the pacing was fine. But with this game, it's like I've had so many struggles. And it's really unfortunate because I was really enjoying the story. And this game was in development for so long. And I wanted to see it through the end. I was so close to the end. Because at least with Undertale, it's like in the pacifist route, like if you die to the final boss, it got a little bit easier. But there's no holding up with this. I don't, I don't want to end it here. I don't, but I have to. And that's so unfortunate. I'll give it one more try. I'll give it one more try. If I don't beat her, I'm not gonna bother. I don't want to end it here. I'm so close. I've made it this far, I can't give up, but I'm gonna have to. This should not be a difficult spike, it, there really shouldn't. of this of these bosses are way too finicky to my liking. Okay. I said I was gonna give it one more attempt. I'm gonna end it here. Uh, because I'm gonna get frustrated. And it's not fun to see me frustrated because I'll start swearing and I will just start saying things I don't mean. So I'm gonna end it here. So I'm sorry that I'm not able to finish this but Unless the unless the devs make it easier and patch it out, it's not gonna happen. So thank you everyone for bearing with me. I'll have a link down in the description so you can go fight her yourself if you really want to. See if you can make it to the ending. I'll probably look up the ending myself in my free time. Um, it's just so unfortunate. I was so close to the end and I just can't do it. I don't have a strong enough will. Like, if I was in Clover Shoes, I would have given up at Martlet, probably. Not even Martlet. I probably would have given up at Delph. Or Desabat. Like, I don't have a strong enough will to get through fights like that. Hey, Scrooge. You're catching the very tail end of this. Um, because I can't beat the final boss. Um, it's just too difficult. I can't do it. So. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload this. And I will edit the last part to, uh, After this, I'm going to play uh, the rest of Boy in the Blind Forest, which will be my last gaming stream for Twitch before I move over to YouTube. Um, I don't know if I'll do that all in one go or not. Probably, because I don't have time to. I'm gonna end it, so thank you everyone for watching and bearing with me through this ordeal. Um, like I said, it's just unfortunate that it's very difficult. But, anyways, thank you everyone for watching. I'm not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye!